everybody. So welcome to lesson 18 and today we will be discussing prepaid insurance and insurance expense, prepayments on insurance. In the last video, uh, we discussed the yung adjusting entries and yung adjusting entries natin sa prepaid expenses. Now we will have a more complex example involving insurance policies that are being paid for in advance by a company and how will we be able to get the insurance expense for each period that is being affected and the prepaid insurance that should be reported in the financial statements. Okay, both of these are reported in the financial statements. Okay, so please do not forget to download the handout in uh, the link is given to you in the description box. Okay, Jim and Company purchased the following insurance policies, policy M, policy N, and policy N. Okay, so... Are we ready to start? Ready na ha? Okay, so paki-ready yung calculator. Okay, so yun nga, as said, Jim and Company has purchased three insurance policies, Policy M, Policy N, and Policy N. Okay, Policy M is 7,440, which will run from April 1, 2020 to March 31, 2021. Policy N is 12,000 from July 30, 2020, to July 30, 2022. And then, Policy L is 16,200 from November 1, 2022 December, uh, October 31, 2023. Ang isosolve natin in this problem is how much is the insurance expense and the prepaid insurance at the end of each reporting period that is being affected by this insurance. Okay? So, let's first uh, compute kung magkano yung total na nabayad ng company noong 2020. Ito kasi yan eh. Ito yung total prepayment. So, 7,440 plus 12,000 plus 16,200. Okay? So, that is 35,640. So, lalagay natin dito. 35,640. Okay? Again, 7,440 plus 12,000 plus 16,200. Ito po siya. 35,640. And then, check natin yung coverage kung ilang months para madali tayo mag-multiply ng mga fraction-fraction of time mamaya. Okay? April 1, 2020 to March 31, 2021 isang buong taon lang yan. So, that is 12 months. Okay? And then, July 30, 2020 to 2022. So, that, I, uh, that is 2 years or 24 months. And then, ito naman, November 1, 2020 to October 31, 2023. So, yan po ay 3 years. That is equivalent to 36 months. Okay. So, now we are ready to solve magkano ang insurance expense and prepaid insurance for each of the years that are affected. Let's start with the financial statements for the year 2020. Okay, so ganti, ganti ito gagawin natin ha. Per policy, check natin ilang months na yung nagagamit niya sa taon na pag-uusapan natin. Okay? Ilang months na nung insurance yung nagagamit natin dun sa taon na pinag-uusapan natin. Kung 2020 ito, edi lahat muna ng 2020. Okay? So, policy M, N, and N. Policy M, 7,440 times. Ano yung multiplier natin? Ilang buwan na siya nagagamit nung 2020? Nag-umpisa siya nung... April. So, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So, that is 9 months. Okay? So, 9 months ang nagagamit na natin over 12 months. Okay? Next, policy end naman natin is 12,000 times uh, July 30. That is already August 1. Ganun kasi sa accounting, equal lang yon. So, on July 30, edi August 1 na yun. So, August, September, October, November, December. August, September, October, November, December. So, 5 months. Okay? So, multiply natin siya 5 over 24. And then, policy L natin is 
16,200. Ilang buwan na siya nagamit noong 2020. So, this is November and December. Two months lang. Okay? So, 2 over 36. Then, get these amounts. Okay? So, 7,440 times 9 over 12 will give you 5,000 580. Then, 12,000 times 5 over 24 will give you 2,500. And then, 16,200 times 2 over 36 will give you 900. And then, get the total. That is your insurance expense on December 31, 2020. Get the total of the three. 5,580 plus 2,500 plus 900. Which will give us 8,980. Okay? So, ito yung ating insurance expense for 2020. Kasi kinuha lang naman natin kung ilan yung dumaang buwan. Ibig sabihin, nagamit na yun. Okay? E, paano naman yung prepaid insurance? Ang prepaid insurance, kung magkano yung natira. So, ganito lang siya. Prepaid insurance beginning. May beginning balance ba tayo? Wala. So, that is zero. Siyempre, wala pa tayong insurance, di ba? Then, add natin yung ating purchase. Total purchase of insurance. Magkano yung purchase? Ay, magkano yung binili natin insurance? 35, 640. So, 35,640. Then, babawas natin yung expired in 2020. Pagkano yung na-expired ng 2020? Ito pong 8,980. So, nalagay natin minus 8,980. Perform lang natin yung calculation. Yan yung i-re-report natin na natirang insurance expense. Okay? So, prepaid insurance December 31, 2020. 35,640 minus 8,980. 35,640 minus 8,980 will give you 26,660. Tinanong kayo, How much is the insurance expense to be reported in the financial statements on December 31, 2020? Ang sagot, 8,980. How much is the remaining balance of prepaid insurance on December 31, 2020? Ang sagot, 26,660. We're ready to prepare for 2021. Okay, same process ulit sa insurance expense kung magkano yung nagastos na natin na or magkano na yung na-expire na insurance. Okay, so ganun na ulit, policy M, policy N, and policy L. Okay, 7,440 times. Ilang buwan siya nagamit nung 2021? Check nyo mabuti, ang expiration niya ay 2021. Ilang months na lang siya nagamit ng 2021? January, February, March. 3 months na lang. So, ang multiplier natin dito, 3 over 12. Okay? Policy end is 12,000 times. Ilang buwan siya nagamit noong 2021? 2020, 2022 pa may expire. Ibig sabihin, buong 2021, nagamit natin siya. Kung buong 2021, edi buong taon yun, edi 12 months. Okay? So, 12 over 24. And then, policy L is 16,200 times. O, oh, eto. Ilang buwan nagamit noong 2021? Edi buong 2021 din. So, 12 over 36. Okay, so perform lang natin. 7,440 times 3 over 12. 1,860. Then, 12,000 times 12 over 
6,000. And then, 16,200 times 12 over 36. 5,400. Okay? Then, get the total. So, that is your insurance expense on December 31, 2021. So, let's just get the total. 1,860 plus 6,000 plus 5,400 will give you 13,206. Okay? O ngayon, dito tayo sa prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance, December 31, 2020. Siyempre, yung galing last year, itutuloy lang natin. Hindi ito yun, 26,660. Wala tayong new purchases, so wala tayong i-add. So, diretso lang tayo. Less. Expired in 2021. Magkano yung na-expire ng 2021? Itong 13,260. Okay? So, that is your Prepaid insurance on December 31, 2021. So, we perform lang natin. 26,660 minus 13,260. 26,660 minus 13,260 will give us 13,400. Okay? So, pagtira ng kayo. How much is the insurance expense on December 31, 2021? 13,260. 13, Hindi nyo iya-add to, ha? Kasi ang tinatanong lang, expense ng 2021. And then, ito naman, how much is the insurance, prepaid insurance on December 31, 2021? Remaining balance, 13,400. Okay? Meron pa tayong next two. Okay, tuloy natin. FS for 2022. Okay, same process. Let's analyze policy M, policy N, and policy L. Policy M, 7,440. Meron pa bang policy M ng 2022? Wala na, oh, 2021 na lang. So, nang gagawin natin? Wala na to Cross out na yan. Okay? So, ito, cross out na rin siya. Okay? Policy N naman natin is 12,000 times. Ilang months siya nagamit noong 2022? Oh, hanggang 2022 na lang siya. So, dito na lang. Okay? So, July, August, ah, sorry, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Hanggang July na lang siya, di ba? So, 7 over 24. And then, policy L natin, 16,200. Ilang months siya nagamit ng 2022? Tinan mo, nakapaloob ba yung 2022 dito, di ba? So, buong 12 months nagamit siya. So, times 12 over 36. Okay, perform lang din natin ulit. 12,000 times 7 divided by 24, which gives us 3,500. And then, 16,200 times 12 over 36, 5,400. Wala na tayong policy M kasi last year pa lang expired na siya. Okay, so this is your... Insurance expense on December 31, 2022. Okay? 3,500 plus 5,400 is 8,900. Okay? Tuloy natin sa prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance from last year, December 31, 2021. Ito yun, 13,400. Again, wala tayong new purchases, so ma-minus lang natin yung na-expire. This, expired in 
2022. Ito po yung 8,900. Okay? So, ito po yung prepaid insurance December 31, 2022. Okay? 13,400 minus 8,900 will give you 4,500. How much is the insurance expense in the financial statements on December 31, 2022? 8,900. How much is the remaining balance of prepaid insurance on December 31, 2022? 4,500. Tuloy natin sa 2023. Okay. Policy M, Policy N, Policy M. Policy M is $7,440. Kaso, expired na siya ng 2021 pa. E, 2023 na to. Kaya na rin to. Policy N is 12,000. Pero na-expire na siya ng 2022. So, wala na rin to. Policy, N naman na, policy L naman natin is 16,200. Siya na lang yung natitirang policy noong 2023. Times, ilang buwan siya nagamit noong 2023. Hanggang... October. So, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. 10 months. 10 over 36. So, siya na lang. Okay? 16,200 times 10 over 36 will give you 4,500. Yan na yung sagot. Okay? So, insurance expense, December 31, 2023 is 4,500. Dito tayo ngayon sa prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance from last year, December 31, 2022 is 4,500. We have no new purchases. So, less expired in 2023, which is 4,500. So, this is prepaid insurance December 31, 2023. And unsurprisingly, it is zero. Okay. Bakit zero na siya? Kasi naubos na natin yung buong insurance policy. So if again, if you will be asked, how much is the insurance expense on December 31, 2023? The answer is 4,500. How much is the remaining balance of prepaid insurance on December 31, 2023? The answer is zero. Okay, so screenshot nyo muna yung video. Ito yung ating uh, solution for this problem. Okay, so I hope that you understand how we did things here. So just a uh, just a quick uh, review, no? Uh, pag nagsolve tayo ng problems, when we are solving problems regarding insurance, our mindset is that how many months was this insurance was used during a certain period? Yun nga lang, usually questions will just ask you about one year or the next year but I presented all of these to you para makikita nyo na yung 35,640 ay unti-unti na ubos and then ang prepaid insurance natin is automatically uh, I mean, uh, yung prepaid insurance natin is naubos talaga siya at nauwi siya into zero. Okay? So I hope that you understand our next lesson would be about deferred revenue. Thank you and have a great day. Oh,